Have you ever wondered why Hanukkah, the festival of lights, lasts for eight days and nights? A question that has sparked curiosity for centuries, leading us on a journey through time and tradition. Hanukkah, also known as Chanaka, is an eight-day Jewish holiday that usually falls in late November or December. It's a period marked by the lighting of the menorah, a special nine-branched candelabrum, each candle representing a day of the festival. But why eight days? And what's the significance of this unique candelabrum? Moreover, have you ever wondered about the tradition of gift-giving during Hanukkah? It's a practice that's become synonymous with the holiday. But how did it all start? These questions and more have shaped the way we understand and celebrate Hanukkah today. They're also the questions that will guide our exploration in this series. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a journey into the past. Join us as we delve into the fascinating history of this Jewish festival. To understand Hanukkah we must travel back in time to the 2nd century BCE. Picture a world where empires rise and fall, where leaders vie for power, and religious freedoms are often caught in the crossfire. In this tumultuous era, the land of Judea, home to the Jewish people, fell under the rule of the Seleucid Empire an offshoot of Alexander the Great's massive realm. Enter Antiochus IV, the Greek king with an iron fist and a vision to unify his kingdom under one culture, one religion. His oppressive policies began to reshape Judea. The Jewish temple, a symbol of faith and hope for the Jews, was desecrated, transformed into a shrine for the Greek god Zeus. Jewish rituals were outlawed, their sacred books burned, and their practices deemed punishable by death. Yet the flame of Jewish faith was not so easily extinguished. Underneath the heavy hand of oppression, the Jews clung to their beliefs. They held secret gatherings passing down their traditions from generation to generation, keeping their faith alive in the shadows. The harsher the rule of Antiochus grew, the stronger their resolve became. Imagine living in such a time, where practicing your faith could cost you your life. Yet the Jews of Judea did not waver. Their determination, their resilience is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable courage. In the face of such adversity, the Jewish people found strength in unity. They were not just fighting for their right to practice their faith, but for their very identity. The oppressive rule of Antiochus was not just an attack on their religion, but an assault on their culture, their history, and their future. This was a crucial period in Jewish history, a time of turmoil that would lead to a defining moment for the Jewish people. The harsh rule of Antiochus IV, the desecration of their temple, the outlawing of their rituals, all these events were building up to a critical point. The stage was set for a revolt that would change history. In the face of oppression, a group of Jewish rebels known as the Maccabees took a stand. The tale of the Maccabean revolt is one of remarkable courage, faith, and resilience. It occurred around the 2nd century BCE, an era when the Seleucid Empire under the rule of Antiochus IV sought to Hellenize the Jewish people. This meant the imposition of Greek customs, beliefs, and practices, including the worship of Greek gods, a stark contradiction to the Jewish faith. But among the oppressed was a family of priests, the Hasmoneans, who refused to submit to this cultural onslaught. The most notable among them was Judah, who earned the epithet Maccabee, which translates to the hammer. Judah Maccabee was not just a man of faith, but a skilled and strategic warrior. Under his leadership the Maccabees led a rebellion against the mighty Seleucid Empire. The revolt was by no means an easy feat. The Maccabees were greatly outnumbered and outmatched in terms of weaponry, yet they were undeterred. They relied on guerrilla warfare tactics using their knowledge of the local terrain to their advantage. The Maccabees' resilience and determination began to turn the tide of the war. Their victories against all odds inspired other Jews to join their cause. The revolt, which had begun as a small-scale resistance, swelled into a full-fledged war for religious freedom. After years of struggle, the Maccabees achieved what many deemed impossible. They defeated the Seleucid forces and drove them out of Jerusalem. This was not just a military victory, but a triumph for the Jewish faith and culture. The Maccabees had fought not for power or territory but for their right to practice their religion freely. With their victory the Maccabees reclaimed the Holy Temple in Jerusalem but it was in a state of disarray. And yet, amidst the ruins, the seeds of a miracle were sown. A miracle that would become the heart of Hanukkah and a symbol of hope for generations to come. The Maccabees wanted to rededicate the temple and relight its menorah, but they found only enough oil for one day. 
Imagine the despair they must have felt, the temple, their holy place, had been desecrated, and they had enough sacred oil to burn for only one single day. Yet, they decided to go ahead and light the menorah, hoping against hope. Here's where the tale takes a miraculous turn. The single day's worth of oil didn't burn out in a day as expected. Instead, something extraordinary happened. The oil in the menorah continued to burn. One day passed, then a second, the oil still burned. A third day, a fourth, the flame continued to flicker. The menorah was still aglow on the fifth day, then the sixth, and the seventh. And on the eighth day, when they finally managed to prepare new sacred oil, the original oil finally burned out. Now, you might ask, why is this significant? Well, in Jewish tradition, the menorah in the temple was to be kept burning continuously, symbolizing God's eternal presence. So the miracle of the oil lasting eight days instead of one was seen as a sign of divine intervention, a sign of God's presence and protection. This miracle, the miracle of light, is the very heart of Hanukkah. It's commemorated by lighting the Hanukkah menorah or Hanukkiah, a special menorah with spaces for nine candles. One for each of the eight nights and an additional one, the Shamash, used to light the others. The story of the oil is a story of faith and hope against all odds. It's a story of finding light in the darkest of times, of keeping the flame of hope alive even when things seem impossible. It's a story that reminds us to have faith, to believe in miracles, and to keep our own inner light burning, no matter what. This miracle is the reason why Hanukkah is celebrated for eight days and nights. It's a celebration of light over darkness, of faith over despair, and of the miraculous power of hope. This is the miracle of Hanukkah. Over time, Hanukkah has evolved to include a rich tapestry of traditions. Each one carries a special significance, steeped in history and faith, serving as a powerful reminder of the miracle of Hanukkah. One of the most iconic traditions is the lighting of the menorah, an eight-branched candelabrum. Each night of Hanukkah, a new candle is lit. This tradition is a visual representation of the miracle of the oil that lasted eight days when there was only enough for one. The menorah's gentle glow serves as a beacon of hope, commemorating the victory of the Maccabees and the miracle that followed. Next, we have the game of dreidel. This seemingly simple game has profound historical roots. The four-sided spinning top used in this game is marked with Hebrew letters, each one representing a phrase, a great miracle happened there. During times of religious persecution, Jewish children would play the dreidel game to hide their Torah studies. Today it's a fun and engaging way to remember the strength and perseverance of the Jewish people. Then, there's the tradition of eating foods fried in oil, like latkes, and sufganiyat. These delicious treats are more than just a holiday indulgence. They are a symbolic nod to the miracle of the oil, a tasty testament to the endurance of faith in the face of adversity. And let's not forget the tradition of gift-giving. While not originally part of Hanukkah, it has become a cherished practice. This tradition of gifting, not only adds to the joy and excitement of the festival, but also serves as a means of reinforcing the values of generosity and gratitude. In essence, each Hanukkah tradition is a thread in a larger narrative, woven together to create a celebration that is as meaningful as it is festive. They are tangible expressions of a storied past and a resilient spirit. These traditions remind us of the miracle of Hanukkah and the importance of faith and freedom, so, what does the history of Hanukkah teach us? It's a tale as old as time, breathing life into an age-old tradition that is celebrated with warmth and joy even today. From the days of the ancient times, through the Maccabean Revolt, we've seen how this Jewish festival of lights carved its niche in history. It's a testament to the resilience of the Jewish people, their unwavering faith, and the miracles that unfolded. Hanukkah stands as a beacon, reminding us of the miracle of the oil that lasted eight days, when it was only expected to last for one. This miracle is reflected in the traditions that have evolved over centuries, a tangible connection to our past that resonates in the present. Today, Hanukkah represents more than just the historical events it commemorates. It's a celebration of unity, resilience, and faith. It's a reminder that light always triumphs over darkness, hope over despair, and faith over adversity. Hanukkah is a celebration of miracles, a testament to the resilience of faith, and a reminder of the power of light over darkness.